Hi, Dave Ross with Ross Running. Uh, a lot of folks have asked me about uh, what I expect to happen in the 10K coming up in a few hours here. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about that and throw out my predictions. Um, first of all, let's talk about the conditions that are gonna be uh, happening in Tokyo. It's probably gonna be around 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit with around 80% humidity. That gives a real feel of about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's definitely gonna be a factor in the race. It's not like going to altitude where you can actually acclimate and take some advantage of that. You can't really acclimate for running in those kind of conditions and it's definitely gonna be a factor in slowing the race down. I don't think you're gonna see anybody go out really hard and, and run a sub 27 minute race. I think ultimately what we're gonna see is something in the neighborhood of 27.15 to 27.20. Uh, I think it's gonna be a, a more tactical race I think we're probably gonna go through the 5K and somewhere in the neighborhood of 1335 to 1340, um, cut down from there and then see what it looks like in probably the last 1600. Um, there's a lot of guys in this race that have run sub 27 minutes and there's a few who haven't. And I think that the conditions are gonna be a factor in such that it's gonna leave a lot of people in the race who wouldn't be there otherwise. So it's gonna be a definite advantage for some guys and a disadvantage for some others probably, um, just because they have the advantage of having that, that speed, uh, you know, the sub 27 minute speed that some of the other guys don't have, but they're not gonna be able to take advantage of that. It's just gonna be brutal to run. Uh, sub 27 minute race in these type of conditions. I think uh, for like a 5K, it's probably would slow the race down by about 15 seconds. And I think it's gonna be a factor of slowing the race down by about 30 seconds, just based on the conditions alone tonight. So definitely don't think we're gonna see any sub 27 minute races. Based on, uh, you know, the 2019 World Championships results, uh, there were some sub 27 minute races there. The big difference was in Doha that that track was uh, temperature controlled. So even though it was 95 to 100 degrees or more outside, in the track itself, it was only about 70 degrees when the guys were running. And that was a huge factor in them being able to run 27 minutes in that race. So uh, let's go to the contenders. Uh, obviously you've got the world record holder in uh, Cheptegei, um, who's run 26.11. Again, I don't think we're gonna see anything close to that tonight. Uh, you've got a couple of uh, really fast Ethiopians here in uh, Yom of Kajelcha and uh, Berega. And I think uh, those guys are great kickers and that's really gonna be a factor in the race. Um, you've got uh, obviously some Ugandans that are really fast in this race. And uh, a couple of Americans that if the pace, you know, dawdles um, could be a factor because they have some pretty, uh, pretty potent kicks. So um, what I'm gonna go with here is I think that you're gonna see a really fast last mile, similar to what you've seen in championships races in the past where you saw kind of Mo Farah kind of control the last mile, drop down to like 63, 62, 61 and then all out like a 53 second last lap. And I think that's pretty similar to what you're gonna see. Um, so my picks, uh, I think we're gonna see, uh, like I said, kicks can be a factor. So I'm gonna go with uh, Yom of Kajelcha. Uh, I think he's run sub 30 for 3K already this year. Uh, he's got fantastic leg speed, a great closer. He was second in Doha. And uh, I think that's gonna be a factor here. The world record guys, uh, that's great that they can run, you know, those kind of pace under fantastic conditions, but uh, are they really gonna have a kick when push comes to seven in a championship type race tonight? And I think that's gonna be a really big factor here. Uh, so I think Berega is my pick for second, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, Cheptegei to get third in this race. Um, a lot of people have asked me how I think the Americans are gonna fare. Like I said, if it's a 27.15 to 27.30 race, I think they can still be a factor. I think you might see um, maybe one of them in the top five. Woody Kincaid closed in 53 seconds in the last 400 at the Olympic trials. Um, Grant Fisher closed in 54. Uh, pretty impressive close. Um, and it wasn't exactly cool in Eugene either. So those they could be factors. I, I think hopefully you're gonna see all three Americans get into the top 10 in the race. 
Uh, Joe Klecker is another guy that uh, can handle the hard pace. Maybe he doesn't have as great of a kick, uh, but he's got a great coach in Dathan Ritzenhain. I think he's probably going to be really ready and, and competition-wise ready to run the race of his life. Uh, so those three, I hope uh, and predict that I think we'll see all three of them in the top 10. I think they're uh, going to be ready to race. And then finally, I'd like to give a special shout out to uh, Sam Atkin from the UK. He's a guy who back in December ran 13.18 for 5K and 27.26 for 10K on back-to-back -back nights and uh, is going into this race without a sponsor. And he's a guy who's going to benefit off a, a hard pace. Um, I'd like to see him do well. So uh, that's my picks. I'll be back uh, in the next few days with predictions for the other distance races. And uh, we look forward to a great race.